Commanding, with strong flowing lines, Here Comes the Sun is deservedly the flagship of the Amos fleet, a work of art in the words of her celebrated designer Tim Hayward. The grace and grandeur of Hayward's design is matched by her performance. She's a ship, a real strong yacht. She can go anywhere in any weather and just sail right through it. Delivered in 2017, Here Comes the Sun returned to Amos in 2020 for a 6-meter extension from 83 to 89 meters. Maintaining the character and pedigree of build was imperative, so the original naval architect, Azure Yacht Design, was also brought in. Designed around the lifestyle preferences of the owners, a few of the most significant exterior additions are the helicopter landing area on the sun deck aft, a pool on the main deck, and the spectacular beach club and spa facilities, unmatched by any other yacht under 3,000 gross tons. Big, bold, block colors, her proportions, and the rake of the top three decks. If anything, she has been enhanced by the extension, explains Colin Boyle, the captain of Here Comes the Sun. We drew on the yard's input and knowledge. Refitting with the original builder offered huge benefits. Helicopters are fantastic tenders, and Here Comes the Sun has exceptional capability. She has two helipads, a large landing pad on the sun deck, and a touch-and-go pad on the bow. She can function as a proper heliport and continue helicopter operations even when carrying one aircraft on board. The bow takes less than 30 minutes to prepare. Here Comes the Sun can land and carry a Bell 429 or EC-145. Both landing areas are for private use. The owner's private apartment on the owner's deck includes six areas. The master stateroom overlooks the bow. His suite to starboard, designed in a more masculine style, includes a private bathroom with dressing room. It's adjacent to his private office. Her suite is portside and mirrors the study. It includes a drawing room opening onto a large balcony. The adjoining Art Deco dressing room is decorated in cream lacquer, while the bathroom is in light Pereira limestone. On the deck above, there are two matching VIP staterooms. Designed to maximize the enjoyment of ocean living, 12-meter-long balconies were added during the refit. Two decks down, on the main deck, there are seven other staterooms. Here comes the sun can sleep up to 20 guests. The guest accommodation was very cleverly designed by Winch. There are three double staterooms, and the other four can be turned into two interconnecting suites with a bedroom, a sitting room, and his and her bathrooms. The spirit of the original Winch interior has been maintained. Designed for entertainment and family life, the interior is well-proportioned and welcoming. The soft, sculpted shapes, natural materials, and textures are enhanced by the elegant blue, white, and cream palette. Each space was designed to give you an experience, explains Winch. Nothing is glitzy, ornate, or out of place. Guest areas are spacious, with chic, modern furniture. The honey-colored oak paneling creates a wonderfully relaxing and stylish atmosphere. The cinema on the main deck has a large projection screen that retracts to reveal a 100-inch TV for video games. Exterior deck spaces are enormous, over 1,000 square meters, but broken into conversational areas. The layout is people-oriented rather than design-oriented, and the areas all come together seamlessly. There are alfresco dining options on four decks to create the perfect setting for every meal. Here Comes the Sun is about relaxation, time with family and friends on a grand scale. When not in use as a helipad, the sun deck aft is set up with sun lounges and a large dining table. On either side, small lounges are shielded by what Haywood calls lobster back screens for private relaxation. The Whirlpool offers splendid views while cruising, and an outside mist system provides extra comfort for working out in the gym. And the gym is just the start. Here Comes the Sun's wellness facilities are second to none. There is a 7x4 meter pool on the main deck aft. It has swimming jets and is heated using the excess heat from the generators. It's deep enough to dive into. The Beach Club is truly spectacular. It's designed around a long marble and mother-of-pearl bar overlooking the 60-square-meter swim platform. It's open on three sides thanks to fold-down platforms port and starboard and the fold-down door aft. The beach club includes a spa with a chilled plunge pool, sauna, and Turkish bath. 
A separate massage area on the port side includes a hair salon. An amazing design feature is the absence of steps from the beach club up to any of the fold-down platforms. The deck of the entire beach area is flush. Here Comes the Sun was designed to carry a good-sized fleet of tenders to meet all owners' requirements. There is a 10.5-meter fully custom limousine and a 9-meter D-rib tender, both built by Yachtwerft Meyer. For water sports, a 7-meter 2020 GS Nautique ski boat and two GXT Sea-Doo. The limousine can carry up to 12 guests, while the D-rib can cruise at 40 knots with 14 guests on board. Built to LY3 and Cayman flagged, Here Comes the Sun is powered by twin cat engines and can cruise at 15 knots with a maximum speed of 17 knots. A flawlessly elegant yet functional yacht with excellent storage, well-designed technical and crew facilities, Here Comes the Sun is a testament to Amel's capabilities and the vision of her current owner who transformed her into one of the most exciting yachts of her day.